How are you? We're back. Dennis Mitchell with the Chris Moe Golf Schools. Uh, in the first part of this right-sided swing or keeping your spine angle swing, we talked about how to maintain that on the back swing and how to get to the top. And so in this part two, we're going to talk about from the top down to the ball and to your follow-through. So what we will re review the first part here. The first part was how to set up at the ball. There you go. So we're going to review just setting up at it. Feet straight, weight about 60-40, hands ahead, looks like a reverse K. We talked about setting the club early, keeping the shoulders square, and then turn up to the top. Now from here, as you notice, you'll notice that my left knee doesn't go behind the ball. Instead, my left knee goes forward. I'm going to try to remain right here on this side as I let my hand start the downswing. Now as I start the downswing, my upper body will start to uncoil and then the lower body will follow until we get right here to impact. So you can see, here I am at setup and now here I am at impact. So I'm almost in the same spot. My spine angle hasn't changed. Okay, so top of the back swing, let the hand start down. Okay, and then you can see as I get down here now, I've maintained my spine all the way to the ball. And as I go through, you can see I keep turning, keeping bracing on my left side, and then finally let my hips turn and come on up to a nice balance finish. Let me show you that in a swing. There you go. A little practice, you should be able to do that too. Elbows relax. Good. So that'll allow this. Okay, so when this glove is even with your left thigh here, okay, that if your hands are a fist width away, mm -hmm. okay, your hands are going to be how far away? A fist width away, and that's going to be nice and relaxed. That allows the club to be nice and square and on plane and now your club face is a lot better where before your club face was always where way down and shut so that's why you always hit low golf shots so let's go ahead and make sure that grip is good weight stays on the left you stay right there and now you're just going to do this there you go loosen up that grip pressure there you go learn to set the club there good like that do that on your own Okay, do that. Hold on. Just do that on your own. Back. So you can see I'm not letting you turn your shoulders, am I? If I do that, watch this. Do it again. Okay, how much did your weight move there? Go ahead. Back and stop. Stop. How much did your weight move there? Not hardly at all, did it? But your hands and arms moved. Your shoulders didn't move a whole bunch. Okay, now we can start to turn our body and keep our spine. But we have to get away from that thing of you're here, and then all of a sudden it's yeah, and the minute you do this, the ball just moved four or five inches forward. You're probably going to hit behind well, it or hit little things like that. Open up your feet like this. Weight forward, hands ahead, chin up. You see my elbows are relaxed. They're not pinching like this. They're relaxed. Okay, this will allow me to do this. Set the club. Now you can see, if I just did this... Boy, that's a nice little pitch shot, isn't it? How much did I move? Not a whole bunch, did I? Do the same thing again. Set up good spine here. All I'm doing is just hinging it up, dropping. You can see, not a whole bunch moved. Just got my hands to move. Okay, now I'm going to do what? Well, I'm going to go a little bigger. I'm going to swing my arms back a little on this one. So we're here. I'm still going to set the club and then just swing the arms back. Well, that's pretty good there, isn't it? Not a whole bunch of movement, but you can see it stayed on the left and it went a little bit. Okay. Same thing again. Set up again. Elbows relaxed. You can see my head doesn't move, and now I'm going to get a little bit bigger. Each one I can get a little bigger and a little bigger until you can get to a full swing. Okay? okay? And that's the concept here of what I'm really trying to do is not change my spine angle. When I'm here, my spine angle isn't changing, so it makes it very easy to drop that club in the same spot every time. And if I can do that, I just got to put the ball in the right spot and I can hit it. So let's come on up 
and give that a try.